descend into the dark. Hard mode's stupid. I tried hard mode a long time ago, like when it first came out, and it was just like it's kind of like cartoonishly like dumb. <laughs> I think it's like monsters have line of sight either infinitely or like close to it, and like once they start chasing you, you cannot get them to stop, like ever. Like breaking line of sight, hiding anywhere, like none of it. Just it was just fucking stupid, I remember. Let's see if I even remember what happens, because I'm definitely not reading any of the four hundred thousand lines of text in this game. Don't forget, some things mustn't be forgotten. There's a shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at... at... Mayfair. Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Get my free tinderbox! My intro tinderbox. Focus. My name is... Stick the broom through... I am... Daniel. I think I'd throw on right click? Which I should look into. I don't know why it's... I switched it to spacebar. I might have had spacebar on map when I was speedrunning this even. Look, we're Daniel. We're passed out. Fucking threw up all over the floor. Not really. That's like... I don't know if it's supposed to be blood, like, specifically. It looks like, uh... Maybe it's amnesia liquid. Let's see. Big. What do I have on the right mouse? Then. Here, everything's blocked. Oh, we can jump. We can. This game's, uh... Oh, I might have had Crouch on Spacebar. Running undoes, uh, Crouch immediately. Get through this, this guy. Ooh! That's a cute little intro. Uh, not this one. This one's open. This is where the tinderbox came from. Where we stuck a broom through a through a drawer, through a, a closet cabinet thing. The entire intro before you actually start the game takes place inside this hallway. You look, there's the thing that I threw. Here, a thing. We'll wrap around this corner. You can kind of fuck with your controls a little bit. This won't be like a super hardcore uh, exploration type deal. Uh. Game's creepy. <laughs> it's so like, it's so subtle with everything too. It's just like, hey, you're gonna hear like a wind blowing sound. Oh my god, this reminds me. I gotta play Machine for Pigs at some point, too. I could have sworn I streamed that last year at some point. Lots of wind opening doors that go nowhere. Just flipping the fuck out because this place is spooky. Fucking tornadoes and doors in here. <laughs> I'll be taking that. Is this still. Well, I guess now that there's Bunker. Maybe Bunker has refillable lantern, but a machine for pigs did not. Zoma didn't have a lantern mechanic. 
Uh, yeah, so on and so forth. Jesus Christ, this whole place is falling apart. Literally. Like, it's kind of a theme of the game. of August, 1839. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go <laughs> to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Murder. Your former. Murder most foul. Let's go get him. That is what we do. He's right on. He's right about every single part of that. Uh, there's this guy named Alexander. He owns this castle and he's an old fuckface. We're gonna go get his ass. I'm gonna remember where. Like, uh. Cool. Should be like a secret. Secret thing. I thought I had to move a book in order to make that show up. Uh, this is normally where you you skippy skip this thing. I probably won't be able to do it anymore. Woohoo! We're not doing that. We're playing this legit. Uh. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... The inner sanctum. The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact... It lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Huff and Pliant. There's rubber, rubbery things that we gotta we gotta deal with. I think it's tearing a little bit. Do I have V-Sync on? Does this game have V-Sync? Fucking turn that shit on. Resolution 0x0. Zero There, that's better. Let me move my face out of the way, because I forgot the subtitles in this one take up, like, the whole screen. I believe this is actually, like, the front door. Uh-uh, bitch, not allowed to leave. We will leave through here, but only in the exit. The final, 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 final end of the final cutscene. You can throw shit around this game, which is very fun. So there's locks. I think we have a few steps. Uh, this is like a few a few puzzle things spread out across a few rooms. I happen to know that we're not gonna run into our first monster for a while, so I'm just gonna run around and do the busy work. Right. Copper. And one part aqua force. Lack of a chimney. <laughs> that doesn't sound smart. There's a lot of these little baby cutscenes where uh 
uh, our walking speed is reduced. We can't be hit by monsters. Place would get shut down so quick if Osha ever showed up. Is the A an OSHA Association or America? Because if it was, it's like the occupational safety hazard of Brennenberg, whatever the equivalent is. Yeah, the, the, this this place is a shit show. It's quite literally falling apart. No, it's plot dust! Nah, <laughs> Stop it. I hate those plot things that just turn the screen white. The the entire setup is like, oh, you should play this in a dark room and blah blah blah. And then they do that shit. <laughs> Which I'm not a fan. The Brennenbergian OSHA Occupational OSHA Association of Brennenberg. There, I got it. Thank you for the resub, by the way. I didn't say that, but I meant it. 76 months, which is very long. We'll hear more from her later. Don't worry about that. Is this open? Yeah. The A stands for amnesia. <laughs> the occupational safety hazard of amnesia games. There's a thing we're never going to open. Uh... You can clip out through this window if you want to go out of bounds down to this door. Or this one, really, but we're not going to do it either. We're going to go, I think, here. To the archives. To the chives. The archives. I don't know how fast they'll be able to blast through this, like, casually. They're just kind of hanging out. 16th of May, later that evening. Hey, fucking Daniel hung out in Algeria and he went on an expedition and they were looking for this orb. I forget if they were looking for it if they, or if they just happened to find it. I'm not going to get into the, the ultra crazy details. All you really need to know is that, uh. Slight headache. I forget how bad that is. Seventeenth of May, today, I took some men and ventured into the passage, dark. Passage, da 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 da. Carved passage, slab of stone, and then me. got I was inside, da da da. He went on this big old adventure to Algeria. They found an orb, and the orb is cursed, but also powerful. And then eventually he finds out that this guy named Alex over here in Brandenburg thinks he can help. And instead, he uses the orb to, like, give him magic powers and just torture a bunch of people to increase his magic powers. This is the typical... Maybe not typical. It's a pretty straightforward uh, horror story. I found... I am an explorer. I found a cursed object. The curse is overcoming me, and I don't know what to do about it. I'll seek help. And then, when you seek help... Turns out the person who you thought was going to help you is actually not helping you. Oh no. Ah, he was using it for some nefarious purpose all for himself. Now this long ass hallway. I think the sound cues of this game are like the real magic. Like that really set this apart. It's something that Silent Hill was great at. It's something that these guys were good at. At this point, I, I don't know. Try it. The second amnesia was by different devs, and I, I don't think it was as important as in Soma. But like, running around this creaky castle with all these little sound triggers. We're not going back that way. What about my note? 17th of May. 
1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like These are eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. I don't even know if this it is was like required for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to Look the at orb. light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound yeah, I'm just of gonna run around being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces firmly grasped. Of the most you have to be swift fragile but when you activate the first one you hear that if it stops you'll have to start over isn't all this a bit excessive you can never be too careful then he's right though it is excessive There's a thing that says it's fragile and you can't break it by hand, but if you just click it a bunch of times, it'll break <laughs> by hand. No problem. You just gotta be uh, adamant about not going and picking up uh, look at all this shit. We're like 10 minutes in and there's already like 40,000 lines of text. Let's say. Blange. Reich. Whatever. One. Two. Three. Boom! Puzzles, puzzles, puzzles. I'll take the wine cellar key. The spooky noises for for might be for this guy. Who I don't think we can actually interact with. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't think we can actually even get killed here. They're they uh. Eventually, when it does get to the first dangerous monster part, uh, they... I happen to know that they display a little warning of how the monsters work. Ow! Oh, fuck that, we're not going down there. Ow! That does real damage, by the way. Um... It's random whether or not, if you're walking on the surface, it's random whether it'll actually hit you. See, here's the thing. The random room is not preposterous, but that mechanism in order to get it open is a little... Like, that's, that's so inconvenient. And it wasn't even like a secret room, it was just a secret way back to a main hallway. This place is run by clowns. Alright, my sanity's not stellar. It does give you. Never mind, it gives you this text early. Because I don't think there are any monster encounters in this area. Oh, I lied. I thought it didn't tell you the. the, uh. the warning until you were. actually confronted with a monster. 
Oh god, it would that would be a problem. I don't think any of this game's puzzles are particularly difficult. If anything, the only bad part is that sometimes you have to do a lot of navigation between places. Orpament. What the fuck is Orpament? Hold on. Cooperite is copper. Aqua Fortis is the thing. Hold on. Orpament. It's a arsenic sulfide mineral. Okay. Very pretty rock. It is. I don't think. Like, I guess it's kind of like the Team Silent, where it's like their first thing was so fucking good. Well, okay, this wasn't even Frictional's first thing. It was one of. It was an early thing that they did that was just like so good and so foundational for horror. It's like I don't think they can ever truly top this one. Too good. Yeah, the Chinese room thing, and... I did, I did like a machine for pigs enough, though. It's one that had to sit for a while, though, for sure. Bonk. <laughs> Doink, barrel to the head. It was it was one of those things where like I was mad at it right at first because it was a terrible like amnesia game. It wasn't scary like almost ever. It was really short. Uh, so on and so forth. But yeah, it's one where like get after some time and like letting it simmer a little. It's like yeah, this is fine. It was disappointing on release because of the background, and now it's it's whatever. I would I would play it again. It's been a while. Panic that comes up once in a while. Sometimes these push physics are a little unruly. There's blood there that wasn't there before. Oh, there's even a little map. I forgot about that. That's nice. Oh yeah, I'll always go to bat for Soma too. I thought Soma was pretty excellent. It's kind of funny, like, people are complaining about the monster encounters in Soma. To the point where they ended up making, like, a safe from monsters, like, official release. Like, adding that in. It's like, man, you guys are such weenies. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> There's like one challenging part in the entire game and people complain about it. Oh, I wish it was only a only a walking simulator and nothing else. The the chase areas, the, there's one chase area in the middle that really sucks, but I don't think it's first like it's not so much that they're like damn it, I missed one. Yeah, that's Yeah, it's just it's just weird. Like between like this game and then a machine for pigs came out and then Soma and it felt like expectations were like changed so much. By the time Soma came out, it's like the one thing that Frictional does, they're like, Yeah, we don't want you to do that anymore. <laughs> it's weird. Well, hopefully, hopefully they 
archived some whatever the fourth ingredient is. Wait, no, not this shit. That's off. Wasn't there... No, the wine cellar's closed. Would it have to be in here? Oh, my... I need, like, aqua regier. Is that what I'm making? Wasn't this the wine cellar? Or am I dumb? Ow. Yeah, that's... That sounds accurate. It's like, uh... And I mean, I, I say as I, like, run through here and I'm talking shit about all these notes. <laughs> There's 400 notes in this game. I didn't like Rebirth at all. I haven't played Bunker yet, but now that time's passed and it's been kind of agreed upon that they did a good job, it's, it's on my to-do list. It's not like uh, super high on my to-do list. That's also true. They really got the right people voicing this too. Daniel, little baby man. Alexander, the evil bad guy. He has a great voice. Let's go in here. That sounds like where stuff will be. What's happening? Oh, Gross. feels like my chest is going to burst. Oh. Oh my god! Wilhelm, do something! Wilhelm! Except it. We're not getting out of here, Mark. How can you say that? Alexander, you piece of shit! Let us out of here! <laughs> like Schlubber B. Actually pick it up. Look at all this shit. Not reading it. Keeping it simple today so I can maybe have some chance of making progress or even finishing in a one shot. It's like four. I'm going out tonight, so I have six hours to fuck around. Ow. Back to the laboratory. Ow. Where's that fucking Chaos Emerald? Where's the... Where's the... Oh, there it is. <laughs> like, where's the actual lab part? Sanity oh, sanity is crystal clear now. Health is bad, which is a problem because I have found zero laudanums. Zero laudandums. Oh, just another fucking tinderbox. If Daniel would eat the tinderboxes, this would be so much easier. Breaking. Oh, here's the chemistry pot. Sindracon, how's it going? Look, we're amnesiating. Exanda. No, I don't think so. Hot and acid? Count me in. Is there a mod? I'm not a... If maybe there is one, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Let's fucking jump.
still don't know if the intended way was to, like, I don't know, bring a barrel out here, maybe? Just trying to be hella skilled. Well, if I wanted to be truly skilled. Actually, this might work. You do that closer. I think Daniel can jump way, way more forward than he can up, even though it doesn't feel like it. Get me out of here. Three days in Algiers. Ah! Uh, ow! Getting kind of owned here. Yeah, doesn't does this... It's filled with acid. Don't you want to just, like, just warp it all down? Unfortunately, we can't. We have to let this guy slurp it all down. We can go to the refinery, which I think is where we're going to get our first actual monster counter. It sure is dark in here. Yes, and there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now if you wish. What's the reason What's for the, the reason? darkness? It is? For the darkness, that is. Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Dandel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure there not he to is. stray. Monster time. <laughs> yeah, they really they really got a great voice actor for Alex. Daniel's great too, but I don't know, it could have it has a... the it's a proper, you know, deep villainy voice. I actually don't even know if monsters are still around. A Skype playing game. Yeah, that's it's the the bag of Milky Ways game. Twenty second of June. I found Hole. I think the monster might actually be gone. Look at this elaborate. There's a, someone stuck a piece of wood in there. The crank and pulley contraption. Oh shit, I have a bag of Milky Ways. You can also... Wait, one fisk thing. Hi, Punchy, how's it going? Aren't you, like, just streaming? You can you can do a little bit and then just crank and just slap it up.
Oh yeah, I forgot this lake. It's gotta be later over there. <laughs> if you open the custom editor for Amnesia, the actual entity for this thing is just like a floating purple ball. It moves at a constant speed, and it's kind of funny to watch it just like activities around. No, like if you, if you, uh, it's not like an, an actual monster that is invisible. It's just a. Uh, it's not even a thing. You can run into it though. It's a physical object. Here, have all. You can have like. I like all these ones. Scarlet, that would be a problem. You have a nice little. Oh, there's an option to turn on crosshair. Did it not? Okay. My little dot. Whoops. You can do that. Oh, he finished his food. Bluey. This part's just running and it's got a skip that I suck at. Very hard. I just want to see if I could do it. You can run on the ceiling, so you can just run out of here. This map has not speedrun useful, but one of my favorite out of bounds in the entire game. This ugly baby. Blech. Anyways, there's a cool out of bounds. There's like a clip in the map, like right here. <laughs> That one's great. That one's like probably easy to find like accidentally. There's a death plane. I'll I'll flat in a minute. The good thing about this happening, uh, it resets your health. I'll respawn with full health. Crystal clear. Got some bruises. Let's get to work. First we can look in here where there's an elevator. An ascending room. You have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer, and in the other direction. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Go to the study. He screamed at the top of lung.
Oh, this for this map's fun. There's no monsters here. Just twenty thousand lines of shit to read. Oh, it's Agrippa. Shit. I guess I should try to save Agrippa if we get that far today. Boxes. Lots of this art. This place has a great clip. <laughs> you can walk through the wall here. I'm so, I'm so like. Here, I'll I'll do it after. There's a big ugly dog. It's like Frankenstein together. <laughs> this looks like crayon. Stitching. It's blah. You know, it's actually funny that they, they do the dog noises and have the dog thing. It's almost like they want to imply that there will be dog monsters, which there won't be. But there were in... Uh, I think it would have been the last uh, frictional game before this in... Wait, no, because there's that other weird penumbra. But the second penumbra had dog enemies, and you could beat them with a crowbar. Story playthrough of Amnesia. The, like, more in-depth than this. I guess I could. This is a good refresher on how to actually play it. It would be long, though. There's just so much text and stuff. I can answer questions. Uh, I stand. Let's see what you have to offer. <clears throat> ah, what a mess. I should have sharpened the saw, but I can sense it. It's definitely there. Oh god, no. I... I thought the Reaper story was a dumpster fire. I wouldn't go anywhere near it. So you don't have to jump across these. You can just walk. I think you can fall between. Technically. Maybe. I'm not even sure of that. Oh yeah! You gotta be... <laughs> you gotta be really careful to fall between those. No, absolute like Rebirth absolutely has like relevant story points. It's just like shit that even when I was playing it, I was trying not to get too deep into because it's, it was like trying to backstory explain like over explain the shit out of how this game works, and it was just fucking. You know, it's like uh, what was that Friday the Thirteenth movie? I think the sixth one that had introduced like the magic dagger and Jason Voorhees can only be killed by. A, a relative, and we have to find the relative and give them the magic dagger, and it's like, no, shut the fuck up! Stop it! <laughs> Stop doing all that! We don't need to know. <laughs> the whole point is to get in here. Or we'll get a... Use the steam engine to build up pressure. Trinity 4, and then complete steam flow cycle, blah, blah, blah. We've got the flow cycle rod. Uh, it's it's a circle. There's multiple ways out of this room. Uh, you can just go back where you came from. I think it's either here or the next one over. Go like that. Yeah, for, like, for schlock, it's fine. It's just, like, for greater lore reasons, it's like, man, this is just so bad. It's like Silent Hill, uh, the short message doing, like, the, the Silent Hill Syndrome COVID thing. It's like, I'm gonna pretend I just didn't hear that, because it doubles how long any lore playthrough of any Silent Hill game will ever take. You can also... Because now every every single Silent Hill game, you have to add, like, the caveat that, well, it could all be fake, because maybe it's just someone who got sick. 
Oh, I think I need crouch with this too. If you're familiar with the speedruns of this game at all, uh, the rocks are like the the favorite for for Adam, especially like earlier on, like in the speedrun, like you know, in gosh, in like 2012, 2013, when I was learning this, it's like you gotta you gotta get good at climbing on rocks. I can't even get out through here. I thought I had to like get on this one in order to get out. I'm not gonna spend too long on it, but it is what it is. Uh, it's another way out. It's another way in too. But wait, no, you can't. Uh, I'm trying to think. What was like the first? Ah! This whole place is falling apart. It's kind of funny that the, the speed run, like, you can literally just run up, click this, and run in there, and <laughs> the speed run route is to, like, save a second by going through that wall, I'm pretty sure. I think it's still accurate. It got to the point where the the people with super good times usually have, like, a, a graphics turned way down, and you, like, you know, you get up to the wall, and you look at this one pixel that you've memorized, and then if you hold the direction, it's like you'll clip out immediately. The series of those. This one's fun. My journal's gone. What would they want with my journal? We have a forced, forced monster encounter. Second of July, eighteen thirty-nine. Herbert's expedition from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp at Herbert was the guy we went to, we went on the expedition with the Algiers, uh, where we ended up finding the orb. And oops, they all died. Broken lock, we have, we have crowbar. This is very frictional right here. This is very penumbra. <laughs> the key. Please let it be here. Right behind this painting. 3rd of July, 1839. Today, May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion. But suddenly, I could read frustration. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Your drawing room. Uh-oh. There's a fucking guy. Don't worry. Uh, let me see if I can, if the drawer method will save us. See us. Can't see us. We're hidden. By the way, which is right here. Oh, thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> you couldn't see us because of the cutscene. Hide in closet. I just 
probably hit me if I just hang out here. Bitch, what are you gonna do now? I think that's him hearing me running. Despawn, despawn. He's still there. Dude, he will not leave. But we will. Okay, he, he will not leave us alone. Okay, I'm out. And then we get to storage, which is probably... For casual players, it might be one of the scariest sections. Everyone says the water level, but I think this is the scariest, like, main monster section. It's big, it's open, there are multiple monsters. There's a lot to do here. And again, we have 12 tinder boxes, so we're pretty... doing pretty good. In fact, there's nothing behind this door. That I know for sure. Uh, so there's a big rock here. There's a big series of rocks once again. I'm actually gonna... You can't save, you can only save and exit. Which is weird. Uh, one thing you can do... I just want to show this off, really. He can destroy the rocks for us. Damn it! I wasn't getting one shot by everything. This next one might kill me. Damn it! I'm gonna get it. I just want to do it for funsies. Like I'll I'll reload my old save and all that shit. Again, if you die, you resp you respawn with all your shit.
See if I can get like a better here. This should help. Understand why that works, but it's a thing you can do. I don't know. <laughs> Isn't it weird though? Yeah, like it. Well, it's weird. Like it seems, it seems on purpose, but also maybe it's just a generic like. This thing's supposed to be destructible, and if it gets hit by a hurt box, it will self-destruct, you know, and maybe, like, the explosive that we're gonna do is just a hitbox. Yeah, so basically that. Wither, hi, what's up? Welcome. Wait, I need... I don't think I have my Leap Motion stuff on. Wait, here. Rinse and Dragon can flip out. <laughs> I don't know any sign language, but I just watched a Star Trek episode that included it. It's like, man, that'd be a cool thing to learn. Boom. I can say hi. Proper. Proper hello. Oh, yeah, hello. Drill part. Yeah, I haven't done fingies in a while. They're weirdly like the the tracking is like super intensive, like CPU intensive. All this free shit. I think it's this one. I think it's a room in the next. Uh. Alexander. Explosives. Feather brain servants. Careful not to blow the whole place up. Yada yada. The Agrippa thing, like, the fact that there, there's these three guys and they're all just hanging out and. Just doing chemistry together. Model match is doing DDR. Uh, my DDR pad is retired for the indefinite future because it doesn't fit in my place. <laughs> Grab that last one. Uh, what do I have? Chemistry pot. I have I actually might have all I need. I guess this is the last thing I need. I'll spawn him. funny because they won't like break boxes and shit but it will like physically slow them down can't light that one 
Oh, I do have a Ladondum. Am I out of Tinderbot? No, I have 13. <laughs> Again, I like that thing. Oh, here's another fun thing you can do. Yeah, I have a I have a huge soft spot for horror games that still let you run around and do like physical things, you know. Better sideways like this. Whoa. Can't see what we're up to. Just want to pr prove to the viewers at home that there's nothing behind this door. It's so hard to do it with these things, but I love doing it. like a little bit of a gap. Oh, <laughs> that's fine. I have like four refillable oil things. This famously used a shovel which I think might have still been the tech when Adam AK ran this for GDQ in like, what, 2014? Going back to the sandbag. Never gonna get it. I'm washed up. I could do it like the super old school way, where you think I think you want this rolling towards you. Fucking bones in the way.
Try to clip out of bounds with the barrel. You can see it's kind of like doing weird stuff with the physics. You just gotta get it to do the do it right the one time. Damn it, it's like spitting me out to the side. Sorry, I failed you. Get some explosives. That'll make us all feel better. Why the fuck not? Play tax, Daniel. You're gonna dab up. Good plan. Highly volatile mixture. What are you gonna do? Ah! We'll go down that hall later. Um, I believe in this room. Where's the big main room? Oh, it is in here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember. So, uh... This door... This is the most ominous looking fucking door in this entire game, and for good reason. Because it has... This guy. <laughs> Ow. Got burnt up. Wonder if that guy's still out here. He might be cruising. Might be patrolling. Oh, he's still in there. Yeah, he mad. Big mad. This was a fun part in the old speedrun route because you used to have to just like run the, all the fucking way back through all this shit. Rods, rods, rods. We got all the rods we need right here. Tinder box in a place where they want you to hide. Are those Hatsune Miku light sticks? You definitely succeeded. You can clip out of the ceiling over in that corner on top of the gear. Anything through the crack. Oh, wait, there it is. What do you think? Is it safe? Oh, I mapped the the leans wrong. He's still here.
know. What are you gonna do about it? I'm over here. With full bright, no darkness. That might be a thing you could do with, uh... What's that shader thing? Shader toy or something? Oh, is he actually... He's on his way. What if I come over here? Like, what are you gonna do now? You know they made a plushie of this guy? That's like the Steam announcement that pops up. Looks great. Where the fuck is he going? He's just going into a random room. Like, fuck it, I'll just go destroy this door. Oh my god, you know, remember like the super old school, uh... I used to have, uh, here, go around this way. I had, a uh, Singing in the sunlight, loving in the moonlight, the Tiny Sim song. Uh, I had that over the chase music. That's a true, that's true OG shit. That was a long time ago. Uh-oh. He's gonna come around the corner in a second here. But I'm in trouble. <laughs> Is bad. Take a sweet fucking time. Hi. Uh oh, the goop. There's a dead body. Don't forget your bag, Daniel. 69ing the statue now. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. The door messages? What do you happens, mean? It's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's got to be a collection out there of those, but... Uh... Yeah, all these. I've probably seen them all just from playing this game a lot, but... Yeah, there's, there's gotta be like an archive. I don't remember the correct order to this. There is a solution that only requires, I think, five pulls. I think I might have this backwards. That one, yeah. See, you don't even have to touch the last one, which is weird. But whatever. 5th of July, 1839. Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up Professor... As I was leaving. Herbert's office. But you can talk all you want, that's the whole point. If you weren't here, then I wouldn't be talking to anyone. I just sound like a crazy person. Yeah, I'm just hanging out, talking to my computer. Trinity goes into three. Four phase goes into the four thing, and then the flow cycle goes into that one. 
going to spoil you all in that. We're going to need this gear in a moment. And what we can do is pick him up like a pizza. Like a stack of pizzas. Oh, shit. I can learn to rotate things proper. Oh, it's so hard. Yeah. in there. Let's grab coal. Coal. And then a third coal. That requires three coals. Bat. Bat. Get in there. And we're never coming back here. So give it all. All the gears are in place. We get some free sanity back. I have to get hit by jelly on the way out. Ow! <laughs> Fix the elevator, let's go elevate. Whoop. Shadow be chasing us. Now, now there's jelly in here and we can't leave. And bye. Effect there is really convincing, but we are in a static room with the uh, the wall in front moving up. Cool, that went to shit. At least we're down here. We quite literally descended into darkness. Come this way. Oh, take a shot every time Alex tells you to come. I should have warned you. One of my responsibilities as a baron is that of a prison warden. This is where criminals are locked up. Like a dungeon? Very, Very much, much so. so. Come, don't linger. There's two right there. How many times can one man come in the course of this dungeon adventure? Fucking get out of here. Be gone. This is where shit gets a little confusing. Is there gonna be a few maps where you basically just, like, clip out of bounds and leave? Ne more so the next map than this one. Give your light sync to the stream, and I am I fucking it up when I pull my lantern out and put it back a lot? That was a tinderbox. There's a guy in there.
These guys are extra bad. Like, they'll fucking kill you immediately. There's a hammer in here, which we require. Hopefully he doesn't follow us in here. Yeah, we got two prison maps to go through, and yeah, they're pretty they're pretty spooky. But we have a hammer, so it's all good. We'll be fine. We still have our drill. We have a hollow needle. Actually, know where he went. He might still be up here. Is that? Yeah, there he goes. Where is she? Where did she go? Can you open this door? I don't know what's in here. Free oil, I guess. This is no place for a young girl all by herself. She could be hurt or worse. There's no telling. Because it's not mandatory. Down there. There's just a few random. Well, that's a problem. Uh. Thank God for cutscenes. Find Gabriel, the outrider, and tell him to alert the king's men. Oh, you come too. Oh, please, we don't have time to make the hole any wider. Someone is coming. Hurry, I'll cover the hole with the bed. Everything will be fine. I promise you. Yeah, look at that ass. Woo! Colonoscopy simulator. These rocks are fucking fucked up. Get out of the way. This is where shit gets confusing, truly. Sort of acid. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> He's like peeking over the edge. Here, we'll just not look at him anymore. Okay. Okay, bye bye.
What if he despawned? Doesn't matter because we're going all the way over here. I don't have a chemistry pot anymore, by the way. It's like it's not like I could just fill that with acid. There's a dead guy. There's a free tinder box. A free oil. Second of August, 1839. I have arrived at the village of Altstadt. It's Altstadt. a haven. They are dead. What? Breaking a door is like a whole action, but it doesn't necessarily mean he'll come in here. Whee! What's that link? Uh, shit. Can't like preview it. I closed all my browser windows. That one TikTok song, which one? I feel like that changes every day. This guy. All a loop. Completely forgot like the entire layout of this shit this fucking section. There's so many guys in here. Be ready. Let there be enough time. Oh, I think I remember. Someone needs to destroy a door for me. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite, and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. And now look at us. He escaped. Where is he now? Who's fucking oh. Bitch. Oh, oh here it is. Glass jar.
I hate these torches that are, like, directly across from the doorway. Because, like, you can get your sanity back if you chill here and just stare at a torch, but... I could be spotted. Get your, stare at that shit, get your sanity back. Not working very well. Fuck it. I'm just gonna wing it and hope that I use pathing somewhere else. Dude, how is my sanity this bad? Here, then a U-turn to the left. Should be good. This map is a lot bigger than I remember, too. You know, a machine for pigs... Uh, Amnesia Machine for Pigs only has 16 maps total. And there's no repeats of the maps. You never go back to one. Every map begins and ends as one entrance, one exit. Very simple. Oh, he's coming towards me. I thought he was leaving. see me. Didn't see me. Oh, that's SpaghettiOs. I'll get him to, like, trip on all this shit, like, in Home Alone. Actually, I wonder if this is enough to, like, stop him. If he even comes back this way. Oh, there he is. Yeah, come on over. Oh, yeah! I'm, deep, I'm a deep shit. Unless... Damn it. That didn't help! Oh, there's a cutscene! I'm saved. Stop! Don't come any closer! That was good luck. You can't go outside! It's too dangerous! I doubt that very much. Well, I doubt that very much. Gabriel the Outrider. I like hit it with something. Okay, hit with the hammer, which I think I still have. That's what I fucked up. What can he do? This is an outward opening door. He can't destroy this, can he? Do you have any plans? Yeah, oh shit. Oh my god, it dissolved. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> I didn't think he could do that. Oh, here we are. Uh, it's a fun place. Uh, you can do a Bootsy jump up here. And then if you jump uh, far enough out, you can skip this next cutscene. This one. So you use the drain sewers as a means of transport? 
Yes, they were built to divert water from an underground spring and are quite spacious. It seemed only natural to incorporate it into the overall structure. But we won't be using it. Not today. The flow is seasonal, and when the spring runs dry, the damp tunnels produce a rather poisonous type of fungi. There is an antidote, of course, but we won't be bothering with it today. Come, this way Come. instead. We're almost there. Of course, there's an entire ass mini game to get up here, but you can also using you know boosty jumps. You can just jump up here by being very cool. But yeah, we'll we'll do it proper. Uh, this thing break that pipe. Oh, when you gotta grease some gears. I forgot about this. It's the way out. We can't go back. Last jar. Demptio oleum. hit by the ladder if you're not careful. It will do damage. Control room. We'll hit the morgue after. I believe this is a pipe puzzle. No enemies. Herbert. Herbert. Did we find this place? An old friend back in Algiers gave me a map. Why isn't he with us? Didn't he want to come? He wanted to, Daniel. But things don't always turn out the way we planned. See, this is fun. It's like you actually do the physics, keeping a stupid door open. Oh, swag. No enemies in here, just a shit ton of pipes that we gotta find. Three or four total, it's not too bad. Also, I think these things need to be messed around with. The solution should be in the next room over. Now that there doesn't matter. Yeah, this guy. Down. Classic. Oh, this one's already there, isn't it? Thought we were also gonna have to input that. Then there should be two other sets because I remember like a hanging sandbag puzzle like this. Down up middle. Maybe 
must be reverse. Or maybe not, whatever. Daniel, is that you? What are you doing? <laughs> I love that line read. <laughs> I forgot about that. What the fuck are you doing? Weirdo. It's the first time Alex actually like addresses us, I believe. He does it to to clown on us. Frank, I'll take it. Where? I think there's one more pipe, but there might not be. Let's let's find out. If it, I guess it would be in here. Machine. One more look under the stairs, and then if it's not in here, I won't worry about it. Because I could have sworn there was one, like, tucked away somewhere hard to find. But I'm not even sure if there are actually four. Yeah, fuck it, I'm out of here. Oh, that's it. I'm just gonna get this to match that. It's been it's been under two hours. We're kind of balling out of control. That's done. Uh, this control thing should be good. And then this room's kind of fun because. There are absolutely no threats in here. Push to this lodge. Oh, uh... I remember, I know what I need to do here. I need to get this bridge up. Jump on the other one. World record for amnesia casual percent. Yeah, we gotta do that like while we're on it. Thing. Oh, it's cistern before the morgue. I got turned around. Okay, so this is the one where it's full of water, and it sounds dangerous, but it's not. There's no enemies in here. You're conserving water from the spring. Yes, it enables me to control the water in the drain sewers to some extent. Also, it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Like for drinking? Eh, well, that too. But mostly to run different machines. Ah, like water mill. Exactly. He's like, Daniel sounds so, like, naive and innocent. See, now that they've... The, the creators have conditioned the player with the water monsters. 1839. There is no denying that Alexander puts a lot of faith into what I can only describe as magic. I'm not surprised. Even while traveling across Europe, I assumed I would have to embrace the supernatural to save my mind and life. Alexander woke me up early and told me it was time we got started on our work. It turns out that Alexander is a true Renaissance man, paralleled only by Da Vinci, I'm sure. He showed me several rooms fitted for specific research, such as anatomy studies, alchemy, and botany. The crown of Brennenberg must be the inner sanctum. A most hallowed ground where we shall attempt to permanently banish the orb's shadow. He's a true renaissance man. Oh, here's the aqua cloaca.
See, doesn't that sound dangerous? But it's not. I think, oh, that's gonna let out all the monsters. Puzzle. It was super smart to include this room after the water monsters. That's like some proper ass player conditioning right there. More platforming. Uh, the Declinatio Fluxum Aqua Cloaca. Alexander's doing some little orb magic to impress Daniel into trusting him. Ooh, look, I'm totally... See, it makes it sound like there's a monster, but there's no monster. Ow. Knights of August, 1839. It is still early, and Alexander is busy preparing for the ritual later today. Seeing him this worked up makes me... I must admit that yesterday, when Alexander flooded the inner sanctum with blue light... He is correct. He is trying to use the orb for his own gains. He doesn't understand the whole deal yet. Having all these dead ends also helps a lot in this area. This might be one of the smartest designed rooms in the game. One big fake out. Thing just kind of end in a. Oh, it does. It's just a weird little. Fucking. Whatever that is. I get lost in this room every time. I'm gonna hug the right wall until I get out of here. Also not sure whether the door was elevated or not. Which is a bit of a problem. Like there's no door behind here, right? Oh here it is. Ugh, okay. That's cool. 
Did I gain out of that? A crank for a machine. Oh, uh, can I crank? Oh my god. Oh, I couldn't mute in time. I'm sorry. Oh, I hope that scared the shit out of everyone. Oh, uh. Thought you could use the crank to get the thing up somewhere else. Because we need to get this up high with us on it. Still have like the air walking glitch. Oh, it does. <laughs> you go up to a ladder, and I think if you look, say this way, and just keep walking. Don't touch the mouse. Ah, damn. Barely conscious. Oh, I'm in deep shit, actually. BRB, you got it. I will be here. Because I think we're... We're, like, halfway, maybe. I usually think of the entrance to this room as the halfway point. But I guess that might be optimistic anyways, because... You gotta do the Agrippa thing, which I don't remember how to do, and... Here's the sewers, we can't go down there. <coughs> There's fucking toxic mold. This part, plot-wise, this part's kind of crazy. We're, we have to go make a vaccine so we can walk through the toxic mold. Isn't that, like, a crazy fucking plan? Like, oh, there's fucking, there's fucking, like, toxic mold clouds that are, that'll kill us immediately. But... Oh, there's enough time to grunt over here. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, speaking of OSHA violations. Oh yeah, just uh, just inoculate yourself with this vaccine. Then you can breathe in all the infectious disease you want. Boom. Let's go into the Morgui, which has a great gimmick. This is going to be our introduction to... A tougher enemy. Do you see, Daniel? It, it has yielded. What? The, the shadow. shadow. It has for now. Come. Oh. Let's get this out of here so we can get some peace. Yes, let's. Where to? Just down the corridor to the morgue. Are there more dead men there? You did well, Daniel. Come. Uh. Let's get going. We're up to like five comes, I think. Anyways, here's just <laughs> fucking piles of bones. It's not so much a morgue, so it's just, it is just so piles of skeletons. Why are all these dead? Where am I? What's happening? Help! Anybody? That's all fine and good. Let's go look at this room. It has a dead body. A rigor moltus, and it can't be older than a day. Are you breathing, Daniel? Do you hear me? Have you changed your mind? Some ladondum. The vaccine enabling my men to work in the fungi ridden sewer is a definite success. Original parish, I'll have to create more of them. Da da da. This guy is vaccinated, so we gotta steal some of his blood. There's some more piles of dead guys. Maybe these are servants that they didn't work on. There's fucking piles of bodies everywhere. You know, fucking la di da.
Uh, here's a fun thing. Okay, this is a this is another game mechanic that's fun to show off. So, da -da, let's see. Do some inoculating. My knees. Syringe, a copper tube stuck in a needle. Sure thing. We're gonna need to drill into this guy's skull. Blood cannot be injected without a tool, which is the syringe. We shove, shove the thing in his head, stick ourselves with it. Gross. Now check this out. <laughs> you can you can walk through there and just walk out and leave and that guy won't even spawn three days now this is ridiculous oh, I thought it was oil to this room hey anybody I am alone here help help I'm so tired Oh, I can get to the door before you. If not, I pray my heavenly father. That ass. In my sleep. Uh oh, I got lost. Easy. We've been vaccinated. Now we're gonna do the sewer. I'm gonna take a quick break before we continue, but we're cruising right along. Like, I think I can beat this pretty quickly. All right, I'm gonna take five. I'll be back in a moment.
Okay, we'll be back. Let's finish this amnesia gating once and for all. And by that makes it sound like I'm gonna finish up soon, which I'm not. <laughs> There's a lot left. Uh, the sewers are the last map before a big central kind of hub map. Which again, is something that they didn't do in Machine for Pigs. Oh, this guy's fake. By the way. You know, the voice work for the, all the random side people is also really good. Ow. Stoma... Stoma's voice work it wasn't spe stellar. I remember Sh Machine for Pigs being pretty good. Boom. Got ourselves a pipe. Got ourselves a tinderbox. Oh, jail. The sewers in the speedrun were famous for being like the the hardest area by far, which kind of sucks because you can, as you can tell, it's like two thirds of the way into the run. There's a few ways of going about skipping all this shit. Uh, the OG used to use this. Uh, there's there's a way through here, and yeah, like if you fuck it up, it's kind of random, and then you just die. You can also flip up through here, which is again really dangerous. If I can okay. jump into the corner, face here, and then you like hold forward and tap left. But the problem is that you're on a very thin sliver of land here, but then you can you know, Boost up this. I said. Whee! Boost up that and then do the old school, you know, we do all that. And blah 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 and then run to the exit. But Bed running, that's how you do it. But, uh, oh, I remember this part. Oh gosh. We need to get over there, but we can't because there's pipes, so let's go in here and check it out. Engineer, am I? Uh oh, that spawns a guy, right? Yeah, hide from him. I think he's scripted to come over here and try to enter this room. Hear those footsteps, which sound like music. But I think it is actually just uh, the guy walking around. 
We need to we'll need to get some bars broken like that later. I guess this section really has three parts. Now there's okay, so we slowed the thing down. Hello, Resident Evo. I am. So much effort just to get past this stupid thing. Welcome back, Sin. Uh, I don't think you really missed anything. Look, we can't progress further. Impossible to get through. Suspicious music. Look, there's a dead guy. Dead. Bad guy. Daniel, turn around this instant. You are carrying the shadow with you. Wait, the crosshair is turned off again. Just because it's <laughs> driving me nuts not having a crosshair. Uh oh. That's the sound of a servant busting through the gate. Come as no surprise, but this fucking guy wants to come up here. Fun fact, there are very few heavy objects in this game that you can jump on. This is one of them. Trying his best. He's freaking out. I'm probably gonna fall and die in a moment here. <laughs> the hitbox will get me eventually. Or not, I might be right in place on top of his head. A run for it, I'm gonna die immediately. I can even get off his head. There we go. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm running as slow as shit. That's okay, I'll get my health back. There are pigs in Amnesia Machine for Pigs that you can do as what was called pig gliding by the, the speedrun community. It's basically prop flying from Half Life, but it has to be like a dense object like these, like these guys. This torso. It's big and meaty. He's still coming up. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> Is this enough line of sight break? No, he's coming. Why did they put him in front of the way out? What? Sure. I was gonna say, this game, I think, uh, if you die enough, it'll just stop spawning monsters. 
Which is something I know people have been critical of in the past, but I don't get it. Like, these are generally one-hit KO enemies, and it's like, if the player dies a few times to them, it's like... For the sake of expediency, why not just fucking let them... It is the wrong way. <laughs> I'm just... I Sorry, I, when I... When, I, when I'm monologuing, I get lost. This is what he broke through. I think. That one's weirdly facing the other way. Oh, is this the, the turnaround? Wait, did it despawn this guy too? Oh, that stops the whole puzzle. Well, that's no fun. That guy's supposed to be walking around here. This is the... yeah. Well, shit. Supposed to be a guy here, and then you want to try to distract him. You can do that by throwing stuff at him, or... You can throw these rocks. And he'll go, oh, what's that? Well, he's gonna... I think it's gonna spawn one in to chase me in a second here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, once you're out of range, he stops caring about you pretty quickly. Tinder boxes. I think there was like a speedrun category for Tinder boxes. These dogs. It's a cheese dog. Ninth of August, eighteen thirty-nine. I can't stop sweating and shaking. The warding ritual was not something of a sane mind. I did not even realize the dungeon was still in use. Alexander had his servants bring one of the prisoners, a murderer, he told me. Alexander made all the arrangements, but he said I had to perform the ritual. What else could... Yeah, yeah, this is where Daniel starts killing people. Oh, cool. Well, best of luck. Worker Molly. Needless to say, of course, there's tons of uh, more out of bounds options here. I think the actual one is right here. Can I hold on? Uh, but this is gonna be weird. I'm gonna put crouch to spacebar. So you can pop out through the ceiling here. Whee! I'm lucky. Some door frames will push you back in. I think I'm so lucky here. Oh, speaking of crazy dumb shit, the craziest, dumbest shit, the fame... Well, I'd say famous, but... It should be famous. Well, 
first of all, that's one way out of bounds. I'll show you another. First, we're gonna skip the stairs. We'll just put a little blood on our shins. It's fine. Uh, you can also. Uh, walk right through a wall under the stairs. I think it's like here. Maybe here. I thought it was here. Oh my god, it's late. What's up? The fucking thing didn't come off. So we're live now. <laughs> you got me. Oh, see? You just leave. Okay, whatever. How did they miss that? Well, they they made it a lot. Uh okay, so the engine that was made for him or sorry, that amnesia runs on uh, is called HPL. Um, I think the original, like, HPL 1.0 was one of the Penumbra games. I think this is 2.0. I forget the versions. But I know a machine for pigs improved on it, though. Even though it's still full of out-of-bounces and shit. <laughs> they did work on it. Can you feel the syringe? No. The laboratorium. I can't feel anything. Alexander? Yes? Soon, I won't even be able to move, will I? Your life is safe. I don't doubt that. But will it be worth living? <laughs> That's me. Chugging neat. down lantern oil. Chugging down that oil. Hey, check this out. One more. This is the famous shovel trick. What I was trying to do earlier with the barrels and then the sandbags, uh, this is the easiest prop to do it with. Time's sake. Leaf, how have you been? How were hope the oddities were good. The oddities. Motherfucker. Pushing me the wrong way. Unbelievable. So many things pickled in embalming fluid. That sounds like... That sounds like most of what would be at a thing like that. There's a shop up in San Francisco that's basically that. <laughs> if you want to buy like a brain in a jar, or like a fetus in a jar, or like an alligator skeleton or some shit, it's all it's just stuff like that. It's pretty fun. Maybe it really does have to be closer than I thought. I thought it needed a little bit of space. There we go. And then you would go in here into the, what the chorus, the choir. Anyways, that's that's one thing. <laughs> Expertly executed. Give me that fucking tinderbox. And we're gonna continue to play the game like normal people. Agrippa, I need you to stay awake. Can you feel the syringe? No. I can't feel anything. Alexander? Yes. Soon. I won't even be able to move, will I? 
Your life is safe. I don't doubt that. But will it be worth living? Let's meet Agrippa. This game has another character. The guy with no jaw who's shacked Help up down me. here. We'll find. It's funny because he sounds like a weird gross guy, right? Let's switch. This switch? Thank you. You have my gratitude. My name is Agrippa. Who might you be? <laughs> yeah, this guy was probably there. Like a prophet thrown into the lion's den? <laughs> Tell me. Are you among the lions, Daniel? I love that line. Stop Alexander? Oh my. Yeah, he's talking so out of this thing. Shall fall, you say. <laughs> You've hurried too much. Alexander is toothless without an all. He has one. That's that's not very promising at all. The sanctum is basically a benefit, but I guess it's my fault. It could be breached by another, but Alexander broke his, I mean, my own, a long time ago. Really? Well, if you tell the truth, by all means, seek out the pieces of the broken wall and mend the way. I believe he uses a for torture now. They practically leak madness, which is quite useful, I understand. There should be six of them. Look around the fire and the transept. You should be able to find them there. It's kind of a brilliant decision to introduce a character who is like just kind of chill. <laughs> he's kind of he, lo he looks a little grotesque here, but he's just hanging out and he's nice. If you're really going after Alexander, would you consider taking me with you? I know it sounds ridiculous. I mean, look at. But if you find anything concerning a man named Johann Heim, would you please bring it to me? I believe he was working on a way to help him. A recipe for some sort of potion. A tonic to free me from this husk of mine. Guess what? We have a side quest. What? what? Oh, that one. So many of Alexander's things are breaking down. Look around. Maybe some hustle will be. I think he's pretty comfy. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's missing his jaw for some reason, just like all the servants. I'm Heinrich Cornelius quite important you. But he's so chipper about it. Alexander has sustained my soul in this dead husk for years. Who knows how many? Hundreds, I presume. He's very, he's very laid back about his, his, uh, his position here. Alexander is quite impressive in many ways, but he has grown impatient. He'll just say things. Okay, so we fixed the, fix the gear down there. We gotta go all the way back up. Ass staircase. I'm getting teeth crunchy, even though I'm not even insane. We'll open the two doors. <laughs> this is fine. Hey, I mean, he has. He is pretty, uh... He's been chilling all this time. Daniel, you have gone too far. I have to stop you. Yeah, it sounds crunchy like bugs, but... I'm sorry. Uh, and it, and it does usually... Also include the, like, the cockroaches over your face animation. But yeah, I think it's supposed to be, like, grinding your teeth together. I think I read that somewhere. Ah, you would get it. You got the doors open? Good going. I knew you could do it. Thanks. <laughs> he just says things. 
Yeah, he yeah, he's it's Daniel freaking freaking out in the dark. That kind of thing. There's a a thing. Don't I have I've had this wooden crank forever. I forget what it's actually for. Oh, uh if you you cut some bruises. If you're low on health, you can jump in here, and when you respawn, you'll have full health again. Um, we'll do the transept first. The choir is more fun. It's got more stuff to do. This is a lot of. This is the expedition dump. Expedition. I guess in the in the plot of this game, it does involve an expedition, so that's appropriate. August. It's in August. There's some torture chambers. Here's some getting cut in half with this guy. This guy's flipping out. This guy's this guy's pretty chill about it. Uh. Oops. We need. Uh, what means a vessel? Guess what I have? A glass jar! Damn it! Need like a string? Alright, we got a piece of orb. There's three pieces of orbs around here. We gotta get. I'm trying to remember how this works, because I know I need that blood. I forgot how to actually get it though. Like, seeing the shadow again rebirth. Yeah, I wish there was more. Like, if they kept it kind of vague and creeping, like here. Oh, I know right, Ben. The cradle is ready. Good. You, you're a man. How can you partake in this? Is he all right? He is one of the wicked. Don't pay his lies any attention. I'm not a bad man. It was an accident. He set a man on fire. He set a man on fire. That's horrible. Of course. We are dealing with monsters here. This one's fun. It's just a big pyramid. It's just a big pokey thing. Oh, damn it. I have, I have so many stacked cutscenes. It's going to play through them all. Look at the triangle. Lord, on and off the impaler, it just keeps get, just you just keep getting poked. We don't even have a picture of it in here. The other one had a picture. Oh, there's a dead guy in here. Yo, what's up? I don't think he's there when you walk in. I could be wrong. Let's go upstairs. Or we're gonna get that ugly picture of Alex, I think. Yeah, this is the ugly picture. You see a normal picture of him earlier. Here he's all gross. Uh. I don't have any. Uh, oh, there's the string. Notes on torture. Da-da-da, uh, it's important to restrain victims. Da -da -da. Sanity level defend. Yeah, see, that's what I thought, but my sanity's pretty good. Well, not anymore. What if I hang out here? Might not matter, because I'm already in this room, but... Do the famous uh, crouch next to a light source maneuver.
Yeah, that's also true. I guess it's kind of like... <laughs> solving puzzles brings your sanity back, but if you're solving puzzles in rooms with torture devices, it's like they kind of cancel out, right? <laughs> I don't know if this is going to come back anytime soon. I don't think I can undo the picture out there. Get my glass jar of blood. Glass jar and a string. Boom. We're gonna do it. We're gonna save Agrippa. Oh, you're staffing for a con. Cool. Cool beans, as they say. I think, uh... I wonder if it's this one or this one. One of these walls has a... be out of bounds. Which I think it's still part of the route. Is it this one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> then, uh, this one. Probably not a good thing. I might be able to get back in through here. Careful. Yeah! Boom. Game knowledge. See, here's another picture. I'm not gonna touch that thing, because it's gonna it'll fuck my sanity up. Is that a bounce trick? Uh, there's some really dangerous ones in choir, uh, which I will show you. The sewer one, I think, is the most dangerous, but we're already past that. That was the the run killer room. Do my best in dragon. Nice to blast through this before I forget it all. Uh, this is where if you wanna... Oh, my sanity's crystal clear again. Did I try the... I'm gonna try the painting again, because I'm actually really curious. There's a painting at the top of these stairs that should change depending on your sanity. I always thought that was the case. But it's also the case that every time I friggin' get here, usually that painting's pretty ugly. See, now he's fine. Now he's just a guy. Remember it was uh, the creepy guy last time? In fact, if I... Oh, so that's what Alex really looks like. I guess. I mean, we do get to see him in a little bit. I'm gonna try to fuck up my sanity real quick. Uh, where's that room? Did I really get these backwards? Oh yeah, I guess I did. Is yeah, it is alien home planet <laughs> version. Headache. It's still not that bad. Maybe if I sit in the dark. Oh my god, this <laughs> the the amnesia rebirth sanity effect was so bad. Still only a slight headache. How do I make it worse?
There we go, that's a little better. There would be like... Yeah. <laughs> Rebirth would have this... Uh, this super aggressive sanity effect. Oh, we still... Maybe it's like when you load in. I also recovered sanity on the way up, it's whatever. Uh, Rebirth sanity was like so sensitive. If you had like... You have this lamp right here, and you could have a lamp right here, and if you stand in the in like the archway between them, you would lose sanity. <laughs> it was fucking bizarre. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry too much about it, but we yeah, it it, it changes. It does the thing. It's just hard to like do on purpose. Light headache. Cut some bruises. I'm just gonna do it. We. <laughs> Watch your step, idiot. Cut some bruises. Slight headache. Oh yeah, we're back up here now. That's also helpful because if you do the skip where you don't open these two doors, like that door and that door. It's a way to get past them. Oh my god. That, that got old the first time. It was fucking stupid and I hated it. <laughs> yeah, we ran into it earlier um, in the study. Alexander really not as is Johan you never heard of Johann Bayer? My god boy, he's probably the greatest man in history, and you don't know him? Or is it the world who has forgotten him? Grippa and Johann Weyer are like actual historical figures. They were real people. Cult oh, weirdos. Some laudanum. Get a note about Agrippa. Okay, da da da. Lots of from the other side. Da 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 da. Tonic me from a paralyzer, Vitae, and Tampter. Poisonous fungi works as paralyzer. The Vitae will come from blood, and the Tampter. Uh, it's a property of the secretion in the water dwelling Kerk. Which is the thing that we just jumped in the... We just jumped in the, the uh... What do we call it? Like a well? Did they actually disappear? I don't know too much about They were, uh... What, like 1400s, 1600s era? I can't remember if it was like pre or post renaissance, but they, they were New Age occultists from... Ye old times. I don't think we actually need to fuck with any of this. Again, the whole cutscene. 15th of August, 1839. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. Hurry. No time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry! Why does this small, quaint town of Brennenburg have, Alexander, like, hundreds of thousands of murderers? Be. I have to concentrate. Take the man, cut the lines, cut the flesh, watch the blood spill, let it come! Please, I didn't do anything. Take <laughs> the man, cut the lines. Take the man, cut the lines. Please, the man cries. Ah, ah. Now you see. Yeah, Daniel kind of went off the I fucking well. deep end. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you. Now, once more, 
Withdraw your shadow from my domain. Yeah, Daniel fucking went off the deep end so we bit. There isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. What? Oh. What's up? Wee! <laughs> Dead people. Let's go to the choir. This is like the fucking Thunderdome. I love this map. The first time, like, playing this casually, it's so fucking intimidating because of the sounds of the footsteps of the servant brutes. We'll go fuck around with them, though. Get her back. What are my intentions, Daniel? Salvation. It used to be yours, but now you only seek misplaced revenge. How do you justify your violence? Oh, I mean, like, the loud thud sounds that they make. Which aren't, like, their footsteps, I don't think. You know, they sound like it. Like, it doesn't synchronize up, but... It's intimidating. It is curiosity in league with your selfishness that is killing us both. Are we barely conscious? Uh, low sanity? Well, we can fix that! It's also a convenient door warp. Because look, now we're by the entrance again. I don't think death warping's part of the route anymore, but that used to be the case where you would get the last orb piece and then just, you know, jump into the void to respawn here. With full health too, which is a huge deal because you run super slow when you're under half health. There's a jump scare here, everyone hold your butts, because I'm going to activate it right now. Ah! The cool... Little like face mask thing. I thought those were a second that was like a second pair of eyes, but it's just big ass eyebrows. The note about how unpleasant it is to be put in an Iron Maiden. Uh, where's our orb orb? No shenanigans for this one. Who are you to question me? Yeah, it's not it's not as intimidating there, but once you start hearing the f the the footsteps, it's it's fucking crazy. I thought there was something giant walking around here the first time. I just wanted to see in in the actual speedrun. Uh, there is. A way to jump across this, which sounds insane, but uh, I think I'll just do it. I forget how to do it. If you hit the perfect boost, you can get enough uh, speed to go across there. Or if you don't, what you can also do is just jump, jump down there and die anyways, because you can just boost any boosts. Oh, this one's harder. Let's do. He's like, oh. I like this, like the the sound of a bag of potatoes hitting the ground when you actually like fall down. Like, <laughs> oh my god! Ah! You look, you can hit this pipe, and go across here, which is important because the bridge spawns an enemy. God damn it! On a dude. Yeah, this is. See, we start hearing him. See if I can get rid of him. And he's gone. It's okay, there's more. Come on. Uh oh. Shit. 
shit. God. Ah, come on. There. Will you follow me over here? I guess not. Like a fucking reverse serial killer. I'm just <laughs> one by one <laughs> picking them off. Look, it's a brazen bull, and he is smoking fat dubs. Note about how being in a brazen bull sucks. I regret killing those guys now. Oh, there's another one. If you're trying to if you're trying to speed run, I think this is the wall you want to clip through. <laughs> oh, here we go. The wheel is good for keeping your victim still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. All tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you Our like. Boy. But the Our boy. Our boy with the cute little butt. The gaps. When you have decided that the victim yeah, shall die, you. you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them fold in between the frame. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb. He said come. I don't think that one counts. Big wheel. And wildberry pop tart. Damn. I think he despawned. So normally, well, I don't know if this is part of the speedrun anymore, but the route for the choir that I'm familiar with, I think it's to jump out of bounds. You, I think it's here. I know it's not the, not that thing. See either this one or the one before. Pile of rocks. There's this thing. I could have sworn it was this one. Oh, 
Oh, it's, it is the pile of rocks one. Okay. You can walk through here. up here and try not to fall back in through the door frame. I will only do the fun tricks. This one you have to make a leap of faith. Ah! And then when you're out of here, what you can do is grab the orb which is right here. And it just goes, oh, and then you just like fall down here. And that's it. It respawns you back at the entrance with everything you have. It would save us a lot of walking, so we're not going to do it. <laughs> oh, let me up. This is a very fun place to get lost and have to run away from monsters, though. There's another bridge way over here. Like, there's enough pathing options that it, uh, there's stuff to work with and be creative about. Such filth. I have one, two, three, four, five, six orb pieces. Uh, I need... Oh, I didn't get the fungus. Whoops. I gotta go get the fungi. Shit. Stair boost? Nope. Either by this door or the one over there. I hope it's this one. This doesn't go the way I wanted it to. Oh no. Ow. Dismounting from you safely is kind of hard. Let me check this one just in case. Oh, here it is. Poison gland. Oh, like in Pal World. Oh, we know in Pal World's a venomous glands. Get him out of here. For the cairn. Oh, Jesus Christ! and spawn that guy in immediately. I think the the range of... I should have... Yeah, see, I still got all the shit. And I could just leave. There's like a giant area of floor that I think just triggers a monster instantly. I must have hit it. You know, like it covers the bridge. It covers a bunch of area down there. Before you take your revenge, let me pass the gate, Daniel. 
Please, find the ingredients of Pazatonic via this guy. And do so before you assemble the ore. The barrier keeping you from the inner sanctum will only be breached for a short time. Unless everything is taken care of before mending the ore, you won't be able to save it. What he's saying is do all the stuff before continuing, because we've gotten all the ore pieces. And yada yada. This guy, this fucking guy, he needs like a, a turkey leg or something. I'm not sure where it comes from. I kind of want to look it up. What if I just like, can I, can I fit this rock in there? I'll throw a rock on him. Give me, give me one sec. I don't want to spend too long on this. Amnesia Cairn. Leg of meat found in the nave. Very, very top of the map. Huh. Well, I don't remember this at all, so let's go find it. Yeah, that means we gotta climb those stupid stairs again. I see that all the odd pieces you need. I know I have no right to ask anything of you, but if you could find it in your heart to gather the ingredients for Wyatt's topic before attempting to mend the all, there might still be a chance for you to save me. Please, my faith is in your hands. Don't worry, Mr. Man, we're getting a good ending. Even if we do have to climb up these stupid stairs. Yeah. Should be some meat up here somewhere. How many I have 18 tinder boxes? I can spend these. Maybe I don't see it anywhere. cell room leading to the transept. So the nave might refer to this entire overworld area. I th I took it to mean to mean the area af immediately after the sewers though. Might not have been entirely accurate. Transept, transept. 
concept is over here. You have all the all pieces you need. I know I have no right to ask. Is there another room on the way? No. Where's your fucking meat, dude? This is a transept, right? Damn it. Everyone's saying it's just up here somewhere. Okay, hold on. This is gonna drive me nuts. Maybe I should make a save file, like <laughs> up I at the top of the stairs. I know I have no right to ask anything of you. I'm working on it, Agrippa. I need to find some fucking meat for the hair. I think it's supposed to just be on a table up here somewhere. It's gonna be like the majority of my playthrough time. This place doesn't have shit. This is broken. I don't have it in my inventory on accident, right? I have a wooden crank, which is weird because I haven't used it. Yeah, like you'd think it would just like be in here, I guess. Fire's tonic, da da da. Go to the room adjacent to Agrippa's chamber, climb up the wooden stairs, and find a haunch of meat. Stairs. I'm gonna. Oh, I did just save. Okay. might actually be quicker. Goodness. Incredible. You Wait. Would it be might still be a chance? Listen carefully. Oh, I forgot I'm it might be in here. I forgot there was like some. Oh, I forgot about all this shit. See, I remember that door, but I forgot about all these things. Okay, that. Oh my god, that makes sense now. Man, I completely forgot about these. Uh, where's the meat? 
We got the bee. Upstairs. Ah! Oh. Bam. Oh, not that one. If I click that door, that might lock me in. I see that all the all pieces you need. Lab of fresh meat. Something is pulling the rope. Ah. Give me my tamster. I have everything, right? Poison gland, just that. Garp I know you have no right to ask anything of you, but if you could find it in your heart to I have it, what do I do with it? For Vyas Tarkin, before attempting to mend the all, there might still be a chance for you to save me. Please, my faith is in your hands. Oh, we, we can't do anything yet until the lab. Uh, the lab will not be opened until we finish this. Doing a progress. Yeah, it's a nice sound. As soon as I touch the floor, it should insta-kill me whether or not any of them are around. Can I get my sanity back if I just stare at the wall? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's whatever. The point is, they slap you and then they drag you to prison for some reason. Shaharazid. The it's it's I don't know I don't know why. Remember Adam AK telling a story about how one time. Uh, the animation locked up on that guy while while I was walking away, so it looked like he was just like ice skating out <laughs> or something. I'm not sure what to do with you? I hold no grudge against you, Daniel. Oh, so very much the same, you and I. Did you really drink from the amnesia mixture? Idle drop. It does explain so much of your behavior. You never did finish what you set out to do. You talked about redemption, how you would face the orb's shadow and save our work, and me. I will grant you another chance to redeem yourself. You can wait here and stop the shadow. Thank you, friend. <laughs> Classic abuser tactics. Locked. Good thing I have a rusty key. Oh, this part's fun. 
Uh, in fact, worth making a save. I'm blasting through this earlier than I thought, so we'll do we'll do a little bit extra. Uh, whichever way you choose, the other one will stay open. chasing you. <laughs> Let me try to do this properly. Run. Okay, you got it. Alright, I flashbanged Syndragon. It is the dark descent. Don't worry, I got a plan. No! Damn it. Ah. I just need to land on the roof. I think it stops at those stairs, maybe? It's actually hard to get back in from here. 
burn that much. Doesn't matter. I just want to show that. not the time, Daniel. Oh, this is a flashback. Oh my god, I forgot there were a few of these. 18th of August, 1839. Tonight, the orb. unlock the power of the orb and ultimately banish the, the shadow hunting me. I feel it closing in on me and I fear for my life more than ever. Just outside Altstadt lies a small settlement where Zimmerman Dairy farm lives with his wife and three children. I just stand here. The coach went there. Our visit was unexpected, and Alexander was able to strike Zimmerman down without alerting the other. As he went to take care of the farmhands, I began to look for the children. Should have more than enough prisoners to finish the ritual now. Oh yeah, that door that one budged, that's I believe that's where we just came out through. I have all of this. The structure has changed considerably. I keep forgetting I have crouch bound to space bar, it's throwing me off a little bit. That shit without getting without taking damage is so hard. You know the speedrun, usually I'm fucking like super low on health by now. <laughs> I saw him lost. The castle crumbled and I could hear the chancel collapse. The laboratory might be accessible now. <laughs> yeah, where is that? Oh this one. Cool. I think he's just already dead if you don't have the ingredients. Bone saw! Oh my god, I forgot there was a literal bone saw in here. This is great. Shit. This is the laboratory. What are you doing? Time is running short. I'm lost! <laughs> Shut up, Agrippa. Yeah, you're still here. I'm glad you got to see that. Okay, here, one last little potions class type deal. Poison glands. Damn it. Oh my god, you're making me do so much.
Damn it, Agrippa, you better take me with you to traverse the the transcendent realities of Johan Wire. Doing all this work. Uh, this? Er. Oh, look at that. Warping out some green stuff. Big tonic. This. For no reason. This. Oh my god. Me chores. Fire's tonic. Boom. Nice and green. Gotta grip his head. There's a dead body. Can you talk to him? The severed head and grip. Okay, whatever. Let's go. Let's go do the thing. Oh, there's one more step before the final boss. I just forgot. going to have to go soon. But first, let's go look at the very cool orb chamber. Whoa! This reminds me of the event horizon. Uh, the hallway that leads to the, the weird device. An adhesive isn't necessary. We gotta go find some glue. And when you know it, the only glue is over there where that servant brute just walked in. I think he despawned. Maybe he did, shit. I guess. Oh, here we go. Shit. Let me cover this in gear juice. Bucket of tar. Teeth of August. 1839. What is a life worth? Gee, Daniel's fucking suddenly starting to regret all the the mass murder. Did that guy really despawn? I was all prepared to like hide from him and you know play the game. He's like gone, gone. Cool. Orb. Whoa. 
slurping up all the electricity. Ow. Now what? Thing must be done with the machinery. Oh, is this where you go back and now there's gonna be a guy there? Like on the way back or something. I can throw rocks at the gears. This one it spawns, okay. Now it's like, uh oh. We are sending a guy in there to come fuck you up. Don't worry, I'll just loop him. I got this column here. I'm ready to go. There's the stomps. Sounds like something heavy taking really slow footsteps. Instead it's just this silly fucker. Dark corners of the earth. It had like a lean mechanic like this, and it was so extreme that you could lean through a door and unlock it from the other side. What if I'm just like super sneaky? Like, yeah, it's a direct line between me and him, but. What if I just crouch so he doesn't see me ever? Ow. Ow, fucking A. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, you could. It's a... It's a... I know it was part of the speedrun for sure. Oh, he didn't see me! I'm a fucking ninja. Bye. A few more small things. The speed around this part is hilarious because you can run through this wall. <laughs> Thanks, Sass. We have one more room, so it'll be very quick. Oh, if you wait, uh, I think this thing catches up. You gotta hit this lever to close the door to keep it out. 
Uh oh. <laughs> That's what happens. Oh yeah, you know me. I'm, I don't do super long streams anymore. But blasting through this has been fairly quick. Okay, so that's done. Ow. Damn it. Of August 1839. It's not fair. I'm not to blame. The by that demon. He played my guilty conscience and duped me into facing the shadow alone. Alexander, I will kill you for what you have done. If only the shadow had caught me in London or Algeria, I wouldn't have... Now, I merely await my death. I am too weak to press on. Da -da. And he's like, I got an idea, I'll just give myself amnesia. Gotta bleed it and then stare at this thing. I think that's it. There could be more to it. <laughs> it's like when you like fall into a ravine and the game's just like, you know, watch your step. What's even hitting me? There's no shadow in here. Dude, I'm getting owned. That's the thing. Okay. I'm gonna do that. God. I forgot the shadow effect was active in here, even though there's no shadow, it's dumb. Got my sideways lantern out. I'll get my ass whipped in here. Let me get out. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Yeesh, anyways. This game has three endings. We're just gonna get the good one. I guess we could do all three, but let's start with the good one. If you were going to show up. I see Agrippa convinced you to run some errands. Tell me, is everything nice and clear now? Am I the villain? Good and evil. Such comforting concepts, but hardly applicable. Are you so blind that you see no good in really me on the side. or evil in Agrippa? No, oh, like we just met. You know, Grippa? There we go. Now I can stand in the fire. If you can stand in the fire. Let's get up here. We can hang out with Alex's butt. Some old man ass. Or you can boost up here, and check out those cool spinny rocks, which I believe are like physical solid objects. I'm gonna fuck this up, but ah, oh, damn it! You can tell if it pushed me or not, but you get the idea. This is the portal. <laughs> Love a good series of spinning rocks. Fire. 
finally return home. Oh, I forgot you can move. There he is. Do you see him, Maya? He deserves so much more. Please, help him. I know you can. Take me with you to explore the... Other dimensions. Don't worry, Daniel. It will be all right. All oh, right. But wait, there's more. Oh. Then they give you a little code: ODN three one four. You need three codes, and then you can open an archive of bonus materials that comes with your game installation. There's three more things I gotta do. That's the good ending. Let's do the neutral ending, which is where we just fuck this guy's day up. I was wondering if you were going to show up. No, don't do that. I realize. Ah, thank you very much for the sub. We are so close, I beg you. Here, this is in honor of your subscription. We're gonna ruin this man's day. You you killed us. You killed us both. Greatest triumph, and I never looked back. You think I was afraid fleeing Brennenberg? Huh. Quite the contrary. I knew it was my purgatory. Hellfire made to wash away my sins. Great chair shot. There's no denying. There's the front door from a long time ago. But I have paid my okay. tribute. Ugh. I gave them that. Oh, not even close. Man. I did. Oh, the oh, damn. Damn it. I tried. That's the neutral ending. I did the right thing. Look. 1KE271. One more. Yeah, that's the one where I just don't do anything. I was wondering if you were going to show up. I see a Grimla convinced you to run some errand. Tell me, is everything nice and clear now? Am I the villain? Good and evil. Such comforting concepts, but hardly applicable. Are you so blind that you see no good in me or evil in Agrippa?
the nap ending. Yeah, I was thinking like I should go take a bite of a sandwich or something. Look at these cool spinny rocks though. Try to land on one one more time. Oh! Oh, I hit it. Yeah! <laughs> hey guys, know any good streamers who are streaming right now so I can watch? I'll wait for the naked guy to, you know, get this shit going. He really does take a while. the shadow to go to the other dimension and he just fucking left us here. Please let me go. ending. They'll give us a unique code at the end. Thank you, my friend. Your sacrifice won't be forgotten. You will be celebrated forever. What an asshole. Alright, one more thing just for funsies. Uh, the first time you go to the nave... Yes, that's the three endings. We did it. Uh, there's all there's a there's a fourth speedrunner tech ending. Goodness. Uh, we don't have enough orb pieces, but we can go in, into here. There's, I think, two versions of this map. Maybe three, but there's at least two. The one we're concerned with. Just a little further. It's like Orpheus descending into yeah, the underworld. Cross. Are you hiding something? What do you mean? Never mind. Your intuition is remarkable. I'm not sure I'm following. It doesn't matter. It's just a myth, after all. So, in the early version of this map, uh, obviously there's no way to get past that, but... Oh, I think this might... There's a soft spot here in the other map. Not for in this one for some reason. I think we can still get in there. Uh, just in case. I think it takes a little more gumption. Oh, I can get. I think I can get in there through the door frame.
There we go. Pop up here. Here. So if you try to... This is the skip that you do in a normal speedrun, but if you try to do it early... Try to get to this door. This door doesn't have anything mapped to it. You see, it doesn't even have like a little label or anything, so if you click it... Uh, the game has crashed. And that's it. <laughs> that's the end of Amnesia. It's the perfect way to go out. And that's it. <laughs> that's all I got. <laughs> uh, this is the perfect time to end it. I am going to see who's up tonight. 8 o'clock, that's perfect. That's great timing.